Hey everybody, so I just wanted to record this bit at the very beginning of the episode because I kind of re I kind of realized that I probably needed to put this disclaimer at the beginning of it. I've been recording this part for quite a bit, and if you're going through the series and you reach this part, then you're like, oh, the quality suddenly jumped up. And yeah, that's what the disclaimer is, because like at the end of the day, like I've moved from like one computer to the other. I've changed up my entire recording um, system. I've got different microphones than I did before. I'm a lot better at editing, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So it's like the quality of this episode is going to go from kind of bad to my modern, my current style of doing stuff. So just letting you know that like, um, yeah, this is going to have some problems. Okay, let's jump into it. You sorry. F <sighs> have to hit him every time because, you know, he kind of annoys me now. Ah, oh, we are so close. Hey, everybody, welcome back. We are now here at the Firelink Altar. Let's offer souls to the Lord Vessel. There you go. Okay. So we gotta defeat this boss. Uh, unlike last time in which we had Solaire to help us out because he lived, we're gonna go in alone, but you know, that's okay. Uh, actually, Leo Ring. Hornet ring. Leave that on. Technically, this gives me the most defenses. Okay. We're gonna be going after this boss. Mostly because I'm tired. I wanna move on from this game. I thought I was gonna immediately go into uh, Dark Souls 2, but I think I'm probably gonna just take a break from the series in total. Okay, first off, we need to get that suit of armor first. Like, we're down here, we're about to go into here, I'm back in my normal armor, I'm probably gonna use the scythe, actually, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of, uh, you know, parries and stuff, and, uh, the Great Lord Sword is good, but it's not as good as my scythe. Like, it's good in raw damage, but this one's better for you know, the actual bleed stuff. Uh, I was gonna put the hornet ring on, but... Actually, yeah, I have to put on blood. Okay. So I'm gonna go into there, but... I actually need to do something first, and that is to get the set of armor. So I'm gonna jump into... a second character that is going to go through the game, like, you're gonna see, like, a, um, a snapshot of me going through the game again, trying to get the, uh, scythe as the second character. Sorry, not scythe, the, um, trying to get that, um, that item. In the yeah, I get it. So, as you can see, I grabbed, uh, 20 humanities, because that's going to be, uh, useful for the Covenant, because it takes humanity. Like, you may think this is kind of weird. I have to go all the way back. Like, this isn't some, like, New Game Plus type thing. I have to restart from the very beginning. I have nothing. But it's okay, because I actually know that it's rather pretty easy to get through everything. So as you can see, I grabbed uh, 20 humanities, because that's going to be... Uh, useful for the Covenant, because it takes humanity. Ok, 
Okay, that's one down. Uh, the other bosses we need to take out are, you know, clearly the, uh, the Taurus Demon. We have to take out, uh, Gargoyles. We have to take out, no, actually we have to take out quite a bit. Okay, as punishment to myself because I did so freaking poorly on that. I've decided to actually like to, to actually like jump in and do this completely online. So the four kings are gonna be uh, kind of easier to take out since I actually know a better strategy. And it starts with the weapon that I select. Believe it or not, um, they are weak to fast attacks. So it's why the um Grave Lord sword was working a lot more effectively than uh, than the scythe because there was a lot more wind up, meaning I had to take more hits. Now that I know that that is the strategy, I just need to find a weapon that I can use for a good chunk of the game and not feel bad about using it. And you might be thinking, oh, so I just used the scythe or the um. Um, or the Grave Lord Sword? No, those... I would have to go pretty far into the game to get those again anyway. Uh, we already have a better way of doing this, so that should be enough. We need 12 dexterity, so we actually need only one more point. 13 in both of those, so my attack will go up. So S-Talk. Very fast hit. The um, heavy attack is a side swing, secondary side swing. Uh, the move that people really like using with it is two-handed light attack. Because it's incredibly fast hitting, and if you have high dexterity it does quite a bit. Okay, let's put two more points into endurance. While I'm up here, I don't think I have any left. No, I used all them. Okay, that's second boss down. We lived, we lived. Okay. I did not expect us to live through that. Could try to get the dragon's tail, but there's no real reason for it. Okay, I decided to get a lot more stuff than I thought, so it's only going to be one level. Uh, I'll put endurance at level. Uh, gonna try to get vitality, endurance, strength, and dexterity all to 30. Because that should, in fact, be enough. Okay, that went down. So that got a little bit going. I have to get up here. I could get a few more levels. Uh, I put. Um, all the stats have been focusing on the 15. My goal is to get them to 30 before I even remotely get to Anor Um, uh, but I need another 10,000 just so I can crest of Artoria so I can go get Sif. Okay, so I was... I decided I was gonna come back here because I wanted to get, uh, this. The Rust of Iron Ring. Just so I can, you know have an easier time with several things, you know, because I am trying to get back to Four Kings. So there is, like, several items I need to get, not just, like, defeat bosses along the way. So just thought I'd update you on that. Okay, change of plans. So I was looking at all the stuff that I have. I have the, um, Brigand set now because I ran and grabbed that while I was down there. Um... The problem is, is that the store's uh, straight sword, which I've been using this entire time, uh, you need 15 for, and I'm currently at 11, meaning that I have to wait a little bit to do that. And I'm already upgrading a bunch of stuff, I... So I have to get those three levels, I have to... I might as well also level up the store's great sword as much as possible so I can do as much damage. Uh, I guess I'm going... I guess I'm going to the depths as is, I guess. 
so everything that I recorded up till now in this video, like even the final boss, had been recorded around the time that I uh, that I published the fine uh, the previous video. I am now recording this in like January because I have because I had no time to play this game until now. And since I'm taking some large break to uh, create a backlog for my next project, um, I wanted to do some things. So I defeated I defeated the Capra Demon, and I entered uh, the depths. And I was coming back to buy more arrows, and I realized, oh yeah, I haven't actually shown this in... Uh, in the playthrough yet, because I had always just skipped over this. Oh, hello. Come again. Come again. The effectiveness of yeah. the teaching. So. <laughs> hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for hey, good. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to use any of my humanity right now. Hey. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Okay. Yeah. It, it's so interesting that I had forgotten to show um, her show up before. Like, I was... I um I saw that, and I was I had talked to um whatever his name is the uh, the guy who's originally there who sells you miracles. Like I was talking to him, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't think I had ever shown that in an episode. So it I I felt like I needed to at least show that off at least once because. Like, man. Just the fact that I hadn't... Just the idea that I might not have done that is sad, because it means that I, I would have forgotten to show something in the game. Because, again, I'm trying to do this 100%, and I might not get, like, the... Hey, you have obtained all of these rare items. You know, like, achievements. Or, like... Uh... I think the only one I have left for that, like, I can actually look it up really quickly in my achievements, which ones I don't have. Uh, yeah, 36 out of 41. What are the uh, achievements I'm missing? All miracles, all rare weapons, um, and Dark Wraith Covenant. Oh, and also, <laughs> and also the final boss. But, you know, that's beside the point. Uh... Oh, maybe I hadn't actually recorded the final boss. Maybe I just haven't done that yet. Oh wait, that's what it was. I wanted to actually record that final piece be to actually have that as the capstone for the ending. Okay, that actually makes kind of sense. Well, either way, I need to... I need to restock myself on arrows because that giant rat is annoying me. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so I decided to take a little bit of a detour to come down here to get the Rite of Kindling. Mostly because I felt... Yeah, I still don't need to give that. Because I felt like uh, I'd be remiss if I attempted to go after um, some of the uh, later bosses, especially like Ornstein and Smo without 15... Uh, 15 SS flasks. So, I j yeah, I just decided to come down here. It took me a surprisingly large... Um, a surprisingly long amount of time just to get down here. Like, okay, so I have no idea how many videos I have right now saved up, but it's from like a year at this point of like several videos of just me playing through this game as my uh, second character. I have no idea how far I am. I'm not even sure if this is going to be the beginning of the video. Like, so I keep having to start from like the main menu just to do the, uh, the opening intro type thing, but either way, uh, to recap everything I've gone so f I've done so far, I made a new character, 
I went all the way up here. I did some things to unlock the areas, and I'm basically just running around with basic sword and shield. Um, the Anolanda, the, uh, what the heck is it called again? The Astora stuff, right. I always forget which one is the, uh, is the one that actually came with the Astora sword. Because the other one is, uh, is Oscar's stuff. Mm. Right now, I'm... Reinforced weapon. Oh, uh, I want to get my shields up to, uh, to plus five. Just so I can have as much defense as possible going into Ornstein and Smell. Um, armor? I'm basically just running around with the elite set right now. Which is pretty high up there. I just need a slab for the armor. And I'm basically done. Because I'm not going to use uh, slabs on the other piece of armor. I just need like one additional chunk in this at 7. And I feel like that's good enough for now. Uh, purchase item. Only two? Okay. I will reinforce the shield that I am currently equipped. Whipping. There we go. Yeah. Um, I'm also. I also want to level myself up. Myself up a bit. I'm gonna run back to where my uh, starting point is. Basically, my uh, grinding method is go all the way from the inside of that building to here. Run past these guys. Take out all four. Five all five of the uh, gargoyles over there, come back, take these two guys out, go up through that way to take out the silver knight that has the uh, bow, walk around the inside, the upper inside of this building, take out all the silver knights that are inside the adjoining building, come back and then take out the two bigger, um, bigger uh, giants. Giant golems. I forget what they're actually called. I think. I don't think there's anyone inside. I think they're just like autonomous suits. Either way, I've been doing that for the last few days. Like, every once in a while, coming back, doing few rotations. I mean, like, I have other things that I want to do, other games that I'm keeping up with, and other things. So, whenever I get a chance to play Dark Souls, I've just been doing that. And so. Me playing Dark Souls like every few days of just going really hasn't been going anywhere. And I've been, I mean, I was in, uh, I was outside the second bell inside the, uh, the blighted area. I always forget what it's called for some reason. The, uh, the poison swamp of this game. And, and while I was, um, and I had been there for like four months at that point, and I'm just like, I need to get along with this. So I basically quickly defeated the boss and then came here, like right afterwards. This is probably the set I'm going to be using to take out the uh, four kings. Because again, my goal is to get the... Uh, is to get the giant bowl that allows me for teleportation, not put it down, and then go immediately fight um, four kings. If I remember correctly, my rings, I have not taken out Sif yet. Yeah. I was going to, but then I kind of messed up the uh, quest line. So yeah, I want to get my uh, endurance up to 50. Uh, because I think 50 is going to be where the equip load makes it so that I am now... Um, I am now fast rolling with all of this stuff on. I'm still going to need the Havel's Ring for that, but like, uh, it means that I will then be able to equip uh, the ring. And again, I don't have any way to sell any of the items that I have on me, so I've just been throwing everything into the bombless box. Yeah, I was just double checking. Um, I'm out of arrows. Huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's just like a bunch of stuff. Um, let me just uh, throw some of the uh, Silver Knight Swords I've been picking up. There we go. So, let's put the, uh, the Great Bow in there as well. So yeah, I've been just doing this for like months at this point. And again, I can't remember how many videos I currently have of me just going through the game, but I was trying to depict as much of it as I can. And I don't think I've been doing a good enough job of explaining just like how long I've been doing this. Like it's it's been a bit. I'm also not sure if I want to uh, switch the black bow. Eh. Yeah, gonna switch the black bow for the uh, for my equipment and stuff. Uh, bombless box, go here, then go back down to the bows. Again, when you're not able to sell any of the stuff, like, it makes your bottomless box literally feel like an infinite space of items. Uh, don't think I'll ever actually need Skull Lantern because I'm not going down to fight Nito in this playthrough. Because the second I get the armor after, from, uh, the second, uh, the second serpent, I'm gonna just go back to my original save file and then complete the boss because I'm like still right in front of the gate. I was also supposed to defeat the boss, I like record that, but I realized, oh wait, I'm getting better like recording equipment soon, so I like better technique for that, so I might as well just hold that off, and I just never ended up doing it, which at this point. I feel like is a little bit better because it means I can in the same video just quit out and then start up the boss. So yeah, my goal at this point is just to defeat the four kings. It is the last thing I have on my all armors run. Sorry it's been taking me so long to do this series, it's just that it's not it's not the fact that uh, Dark Souls is boring to me, it's the fact that I literally like felt so dejected after going through it us going through it on New Game Plus and only missing one armor set. The one armor set that I, that I wanted to use when getting to the final boss. And it felt so sad. Like I wanted to use the dark set for like most of the set I was using. But uh, apparently that just wasn't in the cards. So yeah, again, not sure if this is going to be the middle of the video or the end of it, but either way, um, I will I will try to record Four Kings and have that in the video as well. Uh, I'm going to go through like a few more rounds of doing this, because again, I want... Do you mind? I'm trying to trying to talk to people over here. There are just times in which he just never gives up on trying to hurt me. And now he's like, oh no, I got I pulled myself a little bit too far. I'm gonna just back up. Thanks. And unfortunately, this is the best grinding spot if you want Twinkling Titanite, because one rotation of doing all of these enemies and you end up getting like two twinkling titanite from all these souls that you have and if you're type and you're, if you're the type of person that care about that you're also going to have enough to get like just under one whole level at this point You have never aimed that high this whole time. What is wrong with you? I figured I had to cheese these enemies pretty hard. Just walk up, you do a heavy attack, and it stun locks them out of actually doing an attack. Either way, uh, I have to um, I have to go because like I'm in the middle of doing other things along with playing this. You know, 
corner still bugs me to this day. It is the most jankiest piece of this entire world. So after a lot of grinding, in which I needlessly got my endurance to 51, I came in here with Solaire. He helped me with that. One of the more important things about this entire run that I really feel like I need to expand upon is the idea that I could have been done with this like like about a year ago, to be completely honest. I could have just done a single run and just be done with that. But I feel like it wouldn't be true to me as a person if I didn't go the extra mile and do this um, all armor challenge. And again, the whole point of the reason why I'm redoing this run in the first place is specifically so I can... Oh, chosen undead. I, I... Thank you. And then warp, because we didn't actually need to place the, uh, the thing on the spot to actually warp. For some reason, I thought I did. Turns out you don't. I'm trying to get strength and dexterity up to 45. Then warp, fire link, shrine, run over, return the soul, because it's far more useful to, um, yeah, it's far more important to have this bonfire open than anything else. Okay, with all that done, uh, we now have bonfire back open, we have that done. Done on Rwanda, we have teleportation. And again, all we have to do is now we have to take out the four kings. But before we do that, we have to take out we have to take out Sif. Completely forgot to do that part. Okay. Um we are nowhere near the amount that we need for actual grinding, but we're we're doing pretty good. Uh I've leveled up quite a bit. I didn't need to level up uh any extraneous armor because I can, you know, quickly roll in this armor now. Which is, you know, mostly my goal. I want to be able to roll fast with this sword. So I completely ruined my chance of uh, doing this easily. If you didn't know. Because uh, I was part of the Cat Covenant and they forgot I was part of the Cat Covenant. So I attacked one of the enemies and... I just realized I could I could ask for absolution of my sins. What am I doing? Like I've not played this game for so long I completely forgot like half of the mechanics. At this point, like I have basically gone through from the start of the series, I went from recording the game on my incredibly busted laptop like the laptop did did fine and I'm not like harking on it it's just that it was not very good at both playing and recording games at the same time you know I'm actually very grateful to have that computer good time not quest absolution that's 40,000 so I need 30,000 more yeah that's doable Still got quite a bit to do. I was hoping that I was a little bit closer to my goal, but like now that it's like within like it's within reach, I'm actually very happy. Oh my gosh, I got that on the first try. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a reason why I don't use the dark the dark knight weapons. They just 
feel... Ah, I feel cheap. You do not understand how relieved I am to finally get to this point. I have waited what feels like three years to do this. Boop. Hey. Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent. Darkstalker calf. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his Age of Fire and in dire fear of humans and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them, Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true lord. But the other serpent, Framped, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature and become the fourth lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still, and trust thine flesh to me. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Gravelord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls, then the gate will open. 
so that you may kill Gwyn. Okay. Are you ready? Then let us return to the abyss and trust thine flesh to me. Okay. I like the weird little yeah he makes when he swallows you. It's like eh. Then like that. So yeah. So Seath is basically a replacement for Frampt. Ah. This one. If you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. Uh yes, please. To preserve your humanity while undead. Cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. Enter Covenant? Yes. Achievement unlocked. Join the Dark Wraiths. Now, we get a Dark Hand, which I believe we actually got a few of them. Uh, just from defeating the Dark Wraiths that are outside. And we basically have to get humanity. How many? Ah! as many as we uh, as many as we can it's why I've been trying not to spend any humanity uh, on this particular run of the game oh man I actually feel happy like like incredibly like happy and giddy that I'm like uh, I'm finally here oh I can only hold 20 at one time interesting So how about I use all... Oh. Oh, no. I was putting away all of them. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it on the first try, but then I saw how much damage I was doing to uh, the initial Lord, and I'm like, yeah, I can do this melee. Humanity, none. Okay. So let's just consume all the humanity that we currently have. So that's four from the double. And then a grand total of 21 from the regular humanities. What is it? I go. There you go. There's all the humanity that I have to offer. How many how many humanity do I actually need? No way. Okay, so I've been holding on to as many humanity as I possibly can. Guess what? Guess how many humanity I need to get rank 2 of Dark Wraith? 30. I am 5 away. Which means if I go into an area I haven't been before, I could probably start farming humanity. But, do you know where's a really great place to farm humanity? That's right, we're going back to the depths. Ah, uh, feels so great. I'm, I'm actually excited that I'm almost done with this series after like two years. <laughs> okay, so after about like uh, four loops, I got about five. I think six, actually seven, actually. Yeah, sure. Let's just give them all of them. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be using the save file after this. What is it? I go. For humanity, all. There you go. Ah. They failed me. Every last one of them. They were strong. Saw not the truth. I am certain that you will prove different. Thanks for the vote of Farewell. confidence. Okay. Man, it feels so nice actually having the dark set. So, when I was first planning on playing the game, you know. Um, I imagined my mm. 
my skill set basically being this. Uh, the Dark Hand, if you believe it or not, actually does have a substantial amount of defense, but it's just not 100%. And so it's one of the reasons why, even though it is kind of an effective shield, it's not one you normally would want to use. Uh, the Dark Hand is actually a lot more useful as an attacking weapon because, you know, it punches like a Cestus, but if you hold it, you charge up your fist and you grab people. So kind of like what the NPCs do, if they grab you, they drain humanity. So it's actually pretty cool. So. Yeah. Finally got it down and it. You know, and it feels nice. It feels nice to actually have this whole set complete. Let's just warp. To, I don't know, perish. Because the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually defeat the final boss again. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Um. Yeah, it's just... I'm just so happy to be finally done with this. Like, it literally took me about four weeks of grinding like an hour a day. Like, uh, there was a lot of days I skipped, mind you, but grinding for f uh, grinding for an hour a day Yeah, grinding for about an hour a day with this character Yeah, and if you were to actually hit a, a real person that would actually do something. Look at that. Okay. So, sadly, my save file is never really going to be complete, my actual save file. But, this makes up for it. To kind of explain what my um idea for a... For an actual like fashion would be just look at how like oddly enough like just replacing the arms and legs of using the uh, dark set for the arms and legs oftentimes looks pretty good i forget which actual like piece of armor i was gonna use uh, I think it was... Oh, I know. Uh, oh, dang it, I can't actually show it because I'm not on, uh, my regular save. But I was going to use the coat from Chester. With the, um... You know, the, uh, coat from Chester and use that with the arms and legs. And then use the, uh, the hunting hat. Uh, the hunter's hat but you know I just really like this armor in Dark Souls 3 um, they give it a more like root looking armor instead of it being bone and I think it I think it ends up looking a lot better especially when the uh, the feathers for the cowl, and yes, I believe those are feathers. Uh, looks more like moss. You know, it looks pretty great. I feel like an actual, like, an actual beast. You know, I think it actually kind of fits. I went through, I went through this version with a short sword. With, um, a one-handed sword and shield for most of it, switching only to a two-handed sword that I was carrying in one hand, you know, it feels right. It feels right that I basically just kind of end, I just kind of end this off with 
a build that is very a uh, almost a cosplay build that is one-handed. So yeah, let's head back over to the other character. Okay, so this might sound kind of silly, but I have to actually like I have to actually get used to using a uh, scythe again because again, a scythe is not the same thing as a sword. A sword is I walk up to someone, I start slashing, and I'll do some damage. A scythe has a particular range, you know, it's like if I hit them with the um, actual wood of the blade, it's going to do like, I think uh, an eighth as much damage. Meanwhile, I actually have some length as well. Oh, I missed having a scythe. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't want to go through all the trouble of actually getting a scythe again, you know? Okay, so... Let's do this. I'm actually like... Oh yeah. I was like, didn't I die here once before? I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's why. Yeah, his grab attack does so much more damage in uh, New Game Plus. Ah, okay. I guess this is attempt three? I think two on camera, one not. I was deliberately trying to hit him on the on the uh, second one. Okay. Almost got him. Probably shouldn't have done that, <laughs> to be completely honest. Oh gosh! That, mm, that sucked. Okay, so attempt number four. I'm not even gonna go for my uh, for my souls. I'm not gonna try to heal. I'm not gonna panic. Because again, this guy is weak to parries. It's like his thing. It just feels like he hits too fast sometimes. I also have to be worried about when he does a grab. Look at that. Ah, dang it! Okay, next try. I'm gonna quickly heal. Yeah, I think that's literally just gonna be the strategy. If he kicks and he connects, I just have to will away. I'm 
I'm not taking too much damage when the shield's out. But... Yeah. Oh, come on. What? That's crap. You know what game. This is literally the final boss. Like, once I beat this, the series is over, and it's like, uh... One more. Come on. And there we go. Eh. Now, you'd think I would feel happy, but in reality, I actually have to do something special. So, the first time I came through here, I touched the light over there and did the first ending. The way you activate the second ending is you actually attempt to leave afterwards. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Karf and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. upon the world. Our Lord hath returned. Ah, uh, there we go. Two achievements in one day. Uh, Dark Lord and Dark Wraith. Yeah. That went pretty well. I could just skip that because I already showed the credits the first time going through. And now we're back here. Okay. Let me just quit the menu. I'm probably at some point I'm actually gonna get the rest of the things I'm missing. But again, this is... This was just the armor run. Oh, it feels so good to be done. Anyway, I'll see you guys some other time. I've got some stuff I need to do uh, in preparation for whatever I'm doing next. Dark Souls is done. I could do Dark Souls 2. Uh, I've been trying to record a little bit of it, but every single time I attempt to record some, I usually just delete the footage because something went wrong. So, who knows. I'll see you guys next time with whatever I do. Thanks for watching.